Hello, hello, here is Copper, Silver and Steel. Welcome back to my channel. Today we do a quick review, unboxing and testing of Foval Power Inverter, which you can find on AliExpress. Chinese manufacturers are everywhere. This version is the smallest one, the 1500 1, watts. And we will check if it's true. So first, let's take a look in the box. In the box, you get connections, wires with these ring terminals and the creams for the battery side. But if you are thinking about something serious, just throw it away and use a proper connection. Uh, you also have terminals and connector for the car standard socket. Very cool. And the power inverter itself, as it advertised, 105,000 watts, yes. Of course, this is not a pure sine inverter, just a simple modified sine wave inverter, which means nothing more than the rectangular wave. But in some conditions, in some applications, this is better solutions because we get loss much lower lo internal losses of this kind of device. I needed this kind of inverter to power up from 12, 12 volts to AC 250, uh, 220 uh, to power up my uh, chargers. Uh, I needed about 600 watts of power. And I think, okay, so, if you cut this uh, by two, divide by two, you will get 750. And the producer claims that no worries, this is peak power. But if you use a continuous power, so 950 watts, no worries, everything will be working, my friend. Yeah, I will test it and show you that is not quite uh, true. Okay, so how about the build quality? Well, everything is made from metal, aluminum alloy or similar material, but really pretty solid. Here is the fan, here is the terminals. We, of course, for the testing purposes, connect the uh, positive to positive, negative to negative, to show you how it works with 12 volts car battery. And we will also make a serious test in a moment. All right, so I think this will go here. And the second nice clean uh, connection. I like this uh, kind of idea when you don't need to use uh, any special tools, but just uh, using your bare hands, you are able to make a nice connection. But from the battery side, I recommend you strongly using the similar connection type uh, because uh, the scrimps gives you a, a very poor connectivity and if you use a high currents and there will be high currents because we are converting from 12 volts into AC that's a lot of amperage flowing in your cables so I believe all right and everything's connected so yep we are good to go. Let's take a look on this side. We got main switch in here, power and fault indicators, standard European European Shuko F type socket, but also there is for United Kingdom and there is an American version, I believe. And the nice features, which is USB 5 volts output. So let's start it. Here we go. We get nice beep from the beginning. We got DC energy. From the battery side, almost full. Yeah, 124 uh, point volts in DC and the output, uh, 223 volts because this is DC to AC conversion. So the fan is working, everything is working. I don't have on this moment very cool uh, load, but let's test this USB connection. Are we able to charge a phone? Yes, it's charge a phone, so it works. Right, great. And now is the time for the biggest test. So let's 
wait a second and we will start. Alright, so this is our power inverter. As you can see, now we are connected in parallel into four uh, gel batteries. Uh, the load, as you can expect here, is almost critical. I mean, we are in super red high and just take a look about the temperature it only works a few minutes on a full load and we get 80 celsius degrees it is really really hot you can easily scramble eggs in here um, this is the hottest place and you may be asking what is the actual load? Well, as you can see here, I'm only using this inverter to power up those four chargers. Each of them is 150 watts. If you don't believe me, just take a look in here, because this is total power which is consumed now. It is almost 600 watts. So this is 100% of this power inverter. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. Ooh, yeah. So we can make a scrambled eggs on this side. No worries, my friend. 600 watts, no problem. Yeah. Don't believe in anything that they write on their marketing offers on their products. It is safe not to use 1500 watts, but 500 watts. Yes, this is safe. The temperature won't be so super high and you will be able to use it for a long time. But if you know, if you decide to buy it, I think it's pretty uh, nice piece of equipment, except that it's completely lying on the performance possibilities so if you need this kind of videos if you like this kind of videos please give me a comment and you can check all the stuff because i have a lot of new stuff arriving and i could test it for you and give a, a proper update so it was fovo 1500 no 500 watts thanks for watching it was copper, silver and steel.